For years, victims' rights groups have been lobbying for changes to how high-risk mentally ill offenders are released from custody. Currently, offenders have to undergo an annual review, which means victims' families must relive the horror of what happened to their loved ones year after year. But today, Ottawa proposed some major changes to the criminal code, and if approved, offenders who are found not crim criminally responsible will have a much harder time getting released. Alan Schoenborn killed his three children four years ago, but his mental illness led to him being judged to be not criminally responsible for the murders. And so already he can apply for day parole. The fact a killer with a mental illness can be out in public so quickly after the crime distresses victims' families. But changes to the system are now coming. The fact that victims live in fear because they can't have confidence that they will know if or when their abuser is free on a day pass in their neighborhood is simply wrong. It's unjust, and it's offensive, offensive to Canadians' instinct of justice. Victor Lee beheaded a passenger on a Greyhound bus in 2008. He, too, was judged to be not criminally responsible because he suffered a psychotic episode at the time. His victim's mother doesn't doubt his mental illness, but she says he should never be released from his treatment centre, although he, too, can now apply for day parole. I don't think freedom should ever be an option. I think mental illness should not absolve you of, re of your responsibilities and your behaviours. The reforms don't go as far as she would like, but the federal government insists the changes will have an impact that will help the families of victims. Our reforms will change the system to protect families and victims from ever coming into contact with high-risk or dangerous offenders. Our reforms will lengthen the time between hearings in order to protect victims from having to appear before annual hearings to relive their nightmares and torment. And our reforms will make sure that high-risk and dangerous offenders will no longer be treated casually by our system with new designations. It's not known when the new amendments to the criminal code will pass into law. In the meantime, Alan Schoenborn's parole hearing, set for tomorrow, has been postponed.